Hello, in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We have 9 to the power of m minus 9 to the power of n equals to 648. And we are going to find the value of m and n that will satisfy this equation. So let's start. We have solution. We can recall the problem 9 to the power of m minus 9 to the power of n equals to 648. So by looking at this equation, you will agree with me that this is a positive integer, meaning that m is greater than n. That means 9 to the power of n is actually greater than 9 to the power of n. That's why we have positive integer here. So if, 9, if m is greater than n, that means m will be equals to, the only way we can make m to be equals to n is for us to have or attach a constant. That means m is equals to m plus k. So we are going to replace whatever we have here as m with this. That means our equation becomes we have 9 to the power of n plus k minus 9 to the power of n equals to 648. Now if you make use of this identity this popular identity, if you have a to the power of n plus m is equals to a to the power of n times a to the power of m. That means now that we have 9 to the power of n plus k, we're going to have 9 to the power of n times 9 to the power of k minus 9 to the power of n is equals to 648. We have 9 to the power of n here and we have 9 to the power of n here so we can substitute it out or factor it out. We have 9 to the power of n into 9 to the power of k minus 1 equals to 6, 4, 8. Now, 9 to the power of n here or 9 to the power of any number will give you an odd number. Then, 9 to the power of k will give you, this alone will give you odd, and 1 is odd as well. When you have odd minus odd, you're going to have even. So this will give you even, what we have inside this bracket. Meanwhile, 6, 4, 8 is only even, so we need to split it into the form of odd and even. And the only way of doing that is when we have 81 multiplying 8. 81 times 8 is 648. So our equation becomes we have 9 power n into 9 power k minus 1 equals to 81 times 8. Now at this point what we can do is for us to equate even to even and odd to odd. This will give us odd, we equate it to this, and this is even, and we equate it to 8. So our equation, we're going to have 9 power n equals to 81. And we also have 9 power k minus 1 is equal to 8. So we have 9 power n equals to 81, and we have 9 power k minus 1 equals to 8. So let's start with the first one. Let's start with this one. So we have 9 power n equals to 81. Meaning that we need to find a number that if we raise 9 to it, we cannot have 81. This is a perfect square. 81 is a perfect square, so we cannot have 9 power n equals to 9 power 2. Then the bases here are the same, so we can compare the exponents. So we have n to be equal to 2. Now let's consider the second equation. We have 9 power k minus 1 equals to 8. So we can move this over to this part of this equation. We have 9 power k equals to 8 plus 1. 
that is 9 power k equals to 9 and this 9 is to the power of 1. The basis being the same, we compare the exponents as well and we have k equals to 1. So we have n equals to 2 and we have k is equals to 1. Now recall, recall that our m from the very first equation we had, let me flash back to that. Recall this equation we made, we had m equals to m plus k. So that means we have m equals to n plus k. So from here our m is equals to, where is n? Our n is 2, we have 2 plus k, k is 1. And m is equals to 3. So therefore we can say that our m is equals to 3 and n is equals to 2. But wait, let's check if this will actually give us the right value. 9 power m minus 9 power n should be equals to 648. That means when m is 3, if you have 9 power 3 minus 9 power 2, this should give us 648. So what's 9 power 3? 9 power 3 is 9 times 9 times 9 minus 9 power 2 is 9 times 9. And this should give us 648. We can factor out this 9 times 9 and we have 9 times 9. So 9 times 9 is 81. And we have 9 left here. This is minus 1. This should give us 648. 9 minus 1 is 8. We have 81 into 8. And this as well should give us 648. So let's multiply out. 8 times 1, we have 8. 8 times 8, we have 64. So 64 is equals to 6. 648 is equals to 648. That shows that our value of, for n, which is 3, and our value for n, which is 2, are perfectly very correct. So that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. And also drop a comment if you have any issue in regards to this problem or if you have any other way of solving this problem, make it known. Thank you and goodbye.